Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. This is an excellent book, kind of showing uh, verse by verse and time period by time period, different beliefs and errors and changes in the Jehovah Witnesses congregation. Now, I'm not like many who just slaughter Jehovah's Witnesses verbally and mentally and call them a cult and all of this kind of thing because I think one reason evangelicals despise them so much doesn't have anything to do at all with doctrine. I think it's because they're outworking the evangelicals. They are out door knocking. Now, they are obviously aberrant in their theology and have many beliefs that would not be in comportment with scripture but then i mean i guess a lot of evangelicals do as well their biggest thing i think that that would fight is their disbelief in the deity of jesus christ is they do not believe in the deity of jesus christ and so i'll show you how this book is set up you can still get this i'm not sure if it's still in print but it is still fairly readily available if it's not still in print you can kind of get it all over the place and i'm thinking david reed is a baptist pastor um but he may have been a jehovah's witness i don't want to say he has i was reading a biography on amazon of about him recently you can look it up yourself under the author and just see i remember he was a baptist pastor i think it was in massachusetts i i just don't want to say for sure if he was in fact a uh, former jehovah's witness okay so what it does it's chronological listing of their teachings you know most people know that jehovah's witnesses come from uh Taze Russell and the, the original name and you can get this off eBay you can buy reproductions of this we used to have a set of these at in at, excuse me at Jackson College of Ministries um, that how Jehovah's Witnesses got their name is that the Great Pyramid was Jehovah's Witness in the desert and so as you read uh, Taze Russell's writings from the 1870s, 80s, 90s, a great portion of it was they had just discovered the empty tomb in the pyramid and the hypothesis was the pyramid was built by God, didn't have a capstone because God was going to seal the capstone at some point. And then they would do the number of feet or cubits from different entrances into the empty tomb and calculate when Jesus is coming back. And of course, his calculation was 1914. That's when Jesus came back. Of course, Jesus never came back uh, in 1914. And then they said, we well, came back spiritually. And then they said, well, you know that generation won't pass away and then they said well uh, the people that took communion in a particular place 144,000 won't pass away well you know that's been 106 years ago this is 2020 so they just had to change their theology and that's what he does so masterfully throughout this book it's arranged by subject is he starts what they used to teach and then how they have gradually over the decades changed their teaching especially sometimes when it was prophetic in nature and the prophecies obviously did not come to pass and so he just goes step by step by step that uh, again regardless of the subject just absolutely fantastic so it's okay here's one from the watchtower magazine may 1st 1967 page 262 1975 marks the end of 6,000 years of human experience will it be the time when god executes the wicked it very well could be but we'll have to wait and see um heavy research is not necessary the watchtower has done it for you the most beneficial study you can do is read the watchtower awake or a new book by the organization that is june 1st 1967 
Uh, the Bible is an organizational book. For this reason, the Bible cannot be properly understood without Jehovah's visible organization in mind. October 1st. So just tons of stuff uh, like that. I've got some places here. Okay, so here, awake discontinued statements in Masthead about the generation that saw 1914. This was January 8th, 1987. January and you know Jehovah's Witnesses used to believe that Jesus was God that it was okay to say Jesus is God and then they say he's not and again this it's very difficult to argue with this book I will tell you that and if you could I could see if you could just get a Jehovah's Witness to read I used to deal a lot with Jehovah's Witnesses when I pastored in McDonough Georgia a lot and I could see if people do that that uh, a book like this would just be invaluable because it just shows their errors and their changes and they basically say they don't change you know and just pretty amazing so an index that is properly written this is just full of information you know this is not just something you sit down and necessarily read even though I would sit down and read it and you might too um, like the flag many of you know like birthdays the flag holidays Jehovah's Witnesses don't do that so it'll have the Watchtower magazine May 5th uh, excuse me May 15th of 1917 page 6086 everyone in America should take pleasure in displaying the American flag since the Bethel home was established in one end of the drawing room there has been kept a small bust of Abraham Lincoln and two American flags displayed about the bust this is deemed entirely proper and so in 1971 here's what it says this is the Awake magazine, an idolatrous symbol. There are Christians today who feel similarly regarding national flags. They are Jehovah's Witnesses. They decline to participate in flag ceremonies. We do not salute the flag of any nation. This is in the book School. It is because we view the flag salute as an act of worship. That's page 90. So you can see, I mean, obviously that's a change. Um they used to refer to Johannes Grieber Bible translation a lot and then they kind of pull away because like okay here's from 1956 very plainly the spirits in which ex-priest Grieber believes helped him in this translation he cited for support numerous times cited in support and so then in 1983 it says why in recent years has the watchtower made use of the translation by former catholic police johannes grieber the watchtower has deemed it improper to make use of translation that has such a close report with spiritism so uh all kinds of things so here we i'm just reading all kinds of stuff about this so you just may uh, enjoy this. In 1894, they said the end of 6,000 years is 1873. Man's creation was 4,026 BECE. 6,000 years from man's creation will end in 1975. The seventh period of 1,000 years will begin in the fall of 1975. That's in Life Everlasting, pages 29 and 30. So you can, I mean, like you can just look this up. And if you're a Jehovah's Witness, you can read your own materials and see that there's clearly been changes. Let me read about the resurrection of Jesus. The man, Jesus, is dead, forever dead. And then in studies, we deny that he was raised in the flesh and challenge any statement of that effect as being unscriptural kingdom handbook therefore the bodies in which jesus manifested himself to his disciples after his return to life were not the body in which he was nailed to the tree uh watchtower 1947 jesus christ was not made a human creature at his resurrection was made a spirit which accounts for his invisibility uh 1953 jesus fleshly body was disposed of by jehovah god dissolved into constituent elements or atoms uh 
February 15th, 1955, we are not to look for Christ to be visible to human eyes when he comes again. And, uh, but then in the book Life Forever, in order to convince Thomas who he was, he used a body with wound holes. Charles Tade Russell. This is uh, amazing stuff. Um, having given up his flesh for the life of the world, Christ could never take it again and became and become a man once more. So, I mean, just again, it shows they believe this. Later they taught that. All I can tell you, it is absolutely fantastic. And you just really can't get, in my opinion, maybe there's some website out there, but a more comprehensive evisceration of Jehovah's Witness doctrine. It is just that good. It is fantastic. So an index of Watchtower errors. Lord willing, I've got... I think I've got most of his books that he wrote on the subject, so I've got another one I want to show you guys at some point that like, has reproductions of the papers. So that's really good. So God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.